Okay, the elevator is the first 3D maneuver you need to learn. The aileron, rudder, and elevator controls you learn while flying the elevator will transfer to all your 3D maneuvers from here on in. It's a very easy maneuver to learn, and it's basically a controlled descending stall. To enter the maneuver, start high by flying level, either directly into the wind or with the wind, at slow speeds, and begin cutting the throttle while gradually applying the elevator to keep the nose level until the model begins to stall. A good model will stall by merely dropping its nose. Once you're in a stall, gently apply and hold full elevator and begin controlling the descent rate with the throttle while steering the plane direction with the rudder. Make sure you apply the throttle gently, just enough to keep the nose at a high angle of attack while descending. Think that in this maneuver, the throttle is actually your elevator and it's the one that will decide how fast the airplane descends. Throttle management is the key to success, so avoid ham-fisting it. Make sure you keep the wings level with small aileron corrections as you descend. To get out of the elevator, simply apply throttle and gradually reduce the elevator input as the airplane flies out. Don't over control the throttle too much as this will make the airplane transition into either a Harrier or a hover or fly out. To fly out of the elevator, simply apply throttle and gradually reduce the elevator input as the airplane picks up airspeed. Once you've mastered the elevator, you can then transition into almost any 3D maneuver you want. Elevators can be performed either upright or inverted using the same techniques. 